and welcome back to another Hermitcraft episode. Yeah, I'm already up to something. You you know it. Mumbo is back from his travels. As you can see, Mumbo Jumbo is now online. And I thought it'd be funny to give him a little welcome back gift. So as you know, eggs are kind of the little thing that I did right at the start. And I thought, I really, I haven't annoyed him in a while. He is due to have a meeting with me very, very soon. But I thought I'd do this anyway. He hasn't even noticed that I'm here, by the way. He's down there walking around somewhere, and he's not seen me once. So I'm hoping that he'll see this in a while. He'll break it open. He won't really have a choice. And all of these chickens are going to fly everywhere. Oh, he's there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know if he saw... He was just flying around. I don't know if he saw me. Does he know... Uh, does he think I'm up to something? Because I definitely am up to something. I can see a building. Look, look at him go. He's just doing his whole redstone thing. He just flew around. Did he seriously miss me? I might go grab some more eggs, but I don't know how long I can. I don't know how long I can get away with this for. I've been wondering what to do with all these eggs for a really long time, and now that we now we know. I think the beauty of this is we could have done this weeks ago. We could have done this any time Mumbo wasn't on the server, but we decided to do it. While he's there, I think that just makes it all the more sweet. As long as I come in from a high distance, he shouldn't see me fly in. He probably isn't looking up. This is so perfect. He has no idea. No idea. They're all baby chickens at the moment. But as soon as they're adults, this will be great. I think we're re we've reached capacity. This is as much as it gets. Because as soon as you add another one... Look, see, if we get one more to spawn... He kind of gets sucked into the vortex... And then he gets entity crammed. Yeah, you see that? Okay, I think this is where we're going to leave this little escapade. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, that was quick. Okay, let's just leave it at that because as soon as I... My pickaxe is too fast. It's going to see all of these blocks coming down. Sandstone was perhaps not a smart way to do this. Okay, there we go. It's the chicken bomb. <laughs> He'll know exactly what's in there, but I hope he just <laughs> I hope he just opens it up Okay, we'll leave it for now. Don't know where he's gone, but hopefully he'll find that little chicken bomb I doubt oh ow. I doubt that he's going to fall for it, but it should be pretty fun so I just got back on the hermit craft from a weekend away and someone has decided to jingle my map in the matrix room. So there's writing all over the walls. And Mumbo, the spoon that he is, has already gone in there without me being online. So he's seen it. So this kind of works out in a weird way. Mumbo doesn't get the full effect, meaning I can still meet him today. And, well, yeah, apart from having to fix this... No harm, no foul, I hope. But this is a bit annoying, <laughs> not gonna lie. But I'm, I've fixed it just about now. I just need to go and grab some snow. It's not the end of the world to fix. And all it said was, you have been jingled. Now, I don't know what that means, but it's going to vanish very quickly because I worked hard on this matrix room and it's gonna stay exactly the way it was supposed to be. And then hopefully we can meet Mumbo in a second. So I need to go and find some more snow now. Look, there it is. You have been jingled. Okay, let's fix this up. Please tell me I have enough snow for this. Oh, I, do I don't have enough snow. Oh, oh dear. Okay, it looks like it's all fixed. There we go. That's the last little bit that's gone. The map sh is now complete. So we can head back to the base. And I actually got a load more sand as well. I just need to remember that I've got a little stockpile here if I ever need it. Let's just go back to the base now. Mumbo is now officially online, so we might be able to have the meeting that I actually intended to have in the first place. In theory, it should be fixed. Perfect. This is the real thing that you're supposed to have. So this is the map that I took to fix it, and boom. Everything is back to normal. So now all I gotta do is kinda wait for Mumbo, but I might go and check up on what he's doing before I let him know. Man, I'm getting really good at knowing where this is. Just in relation to this, you can pop through here. Let's head over to Mumbo and see what he's up to. This is a really long elevator. <laughs> I can't wait to get the... Maybe in my meeting I can talk to Mumbo about potentially creating this mob farm as like a joint venture. Why is this black? Oh. What? That's really weird. It's like got a glitch here. 
Uh, <laughs> what is this? What is this? Another prank? You gotta be kidding me, really? What is this? Hold on, let's get a good view of this. <laughs> it's the Eye of Sauron. That's actually not that far off what I was gonna make. I was gonna make like an orb up here anyway. <laughs> Dude, I'm properly the villain now. That is Mordor, <laughs> essentially. It is the futuristic Mordor of the Hermitcraft server. Oh my goodness. I'm afraid that when there's a prank, I think normally I would try and keep it if it, if it works with the base. But just like the potted plant, I think this one's gonna have to go. But I'm gonna keep it here for a while. Is there anything in it? Is there any signs? Who did this to me? Is there anything to go on? Is there something inside? Ow, I'm gonna take lots of damage. Ow, hot coals, hot coals, hot coals, hot coals. Anything? No? Oh, there is something. Now, now that you see everything, thank you. Iskal. And a diamond. I mean, it's worth it for the diamond, am I right? This is kind of messing with my eyes. Oh, that is so strange. I don't really know what to do with this, but wow, this must have taken a really long time. Kudos to you, Iskal. Now that you see everything, I am always watching. How did he put the diamond there? Is there a armor stand? So that's, oh, I see. That's why it's turned black here. So that's why this is turned black because there's a, a black stained glass there. And for some reason, it stops just at this point, which makes it extremely weird looking. I thought the entire beam changes color. I would have maybe noticed something was up otherwise. Well, I guess I'm going to leave that there until I'm going to be making my nether portal because my idea at the, at the start was to make like this futuristic globe type thing at the top. But <laughs> that, I mean, that's a pretty good substitute in the meantime. As you can see, I've been working on this final layer up here and it's getting there. It just takes a long time to do. <laughs> I can't, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't quite get over this one. That's good. That's really good. Anyway, I'm getting con I'm getting completely distracted. So lots of you pointed out that you can see my spoiler through the glass here, and I knew that. I haven't quite finished making my spoiler wall. There's nothing there to see yet. And now that the infinity room is now fixed, it's time. There we go. Mumbo meeting now. Hello, Mumbo. This is the weirdest place. <laughs> this is seriously weird. I know, like, it's right? It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. You should see it without the chairs. It's even worse. You just have no point of reference. Oh, how far away can you go? As far is as I want. It? This is the infinity room. No, I'm joking. You hit a wall. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> how have you managed that? This is ridiculous. I know, this right? This is really, really strange. It's so cool. Like, this is, like, the probably the best meeting room ever. Yeah, you're definitely focused on what the other person is saying. There's no distractions. There's no kind of looking out the window. It's like, oh, I don't know. Is that, was that like a... There's also no escape, Mumbo. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't I can't get away from you here. <laughs> so, um, so, I mean, what what have you brought me here to discuss? I'm interested now. Right. There's, uh, there's several things that I want to discuss. So right at the start of the season, I talked about doing a bit of a team-up bro-ship. Yep. And yeah, we've yeah, not yeah. really done anything yet, but I think now that our bases are sort of coming together, it might be time yep. to sort of team up and do a few projects together. Yeah, no, no, for sure. Architect is it, architect is coming, I guess, full steam. and we're full steam ahead. We are we are ready to go. I don't know where to look other than I mean I'm feeling like you know when you look into someone's eyes for too long you, you start to think maybe <laughs> there's I should no, look somewhere there's else. nowhere to there's look there's literally nowhere else to look around there's nothing to be distracted by what sort of projects do you have in mind I well, mean the first one is the elevator I followed yeah. the map I downloaded it I broke it instantly accidentally nice um but then I realized that the elevator you made was a lot shorter than the one that I've made and right. I'm struggling to get the pulse just right. So I can okay. use a hand on that. 
And then yeah, yeah, no. There's a there's a little secret project that I'm working on on the second floor of my base, and it's a secret to everyone except me and you. It's gonna be, I I, I need help making it because I don't have the technical expertise. But it is a pure secret. No one will see it until it is the day it is finished. Are you in? Right. I mean, I yeah, I'm all for secret projects and things, and and that sounds like something that I would definitely be up to. Is it? So you need redstone expertise. Yeah. You need the yeah. tech side of architect. Yeah, and a, li- and a little and... bit of magic in there as well. Okay, mm, right. Okay, so <laughs> we're now architect. <laughs> we need to add like a wizard to the end of it or something. So the other thing I was thinking is I can help you with any building needs that you have. And yep. have, you, have you got a mob farm yet? I actually don't. I That's something that I normally build really early in the season. Um, but no, I haven't even touched a mob farm yet, which is... It's definitely a project that's kind of on the horizon. Well, I was wondering, maybe it won't be the most efficient, but maybe what we should do is take a tour of each other's bases and go over some of our plans, and then we can kind of work out who can help with what. That is... That sounds like a good move. That sounds like a great idea. Brilliant. How do we get out of here? You don't. I mean, like... <laughs> you, you don't. No, there's a little there's a little secret door. But without... <laughs> I tell you what, without these chairs, you will never yep. find it. It's right here. That's so creepy to go <laughs> through there. <laughs> like, to watch you kind of merge through. Wait, being in here on my own is even weirder. It, this is, yeah. Ugh, <laughs> don't do that. Hold on, can, I get, like it, can I get it curtain. just so that my head, my face is out? Just Wait. the face? Oh, you've even gone, you've even, it's even a void elevator. Yep. <laughs> you know? Hermitcraft, Hermitcraft season seven. This is going to be my like my entire base is just going to have no no perspective whatsoever. You just, just don't know where anything is. Voidless environment. I was actually <laughs> thinking at some point, if I ever have enough time, you could make a labyrinth out of that. Like imagine oh. you have multiple multiple hallways and you don't know where any of the doors are. You'd have a proper three D, completely sensory deprived room. Yeah. Oh my word! You definitely start. You should. You, you could even mix in like some hallucinations that just come across. Oh. Because once you start, once you start going crazy, you start just losing your marbles. Oh man! Well, at least at least this is this is a little bit prettier, I suppose. Yeah. In a way, <laughs> there's actually something <laughs> like, to look at here. So yeah, I guess I'll start off with a tour of my base, and then we could go over to yours. All right. Well, should we pop on over to mine so that I can I can give you a full a full tour? Yes, so you please. can see exactly what's going on. I mean, it's I, you know I always <laughs> I feel a little bit bad because mine almost and this is not something that I would say often because my base is also pretty massive. Yeah, but it actually doesn't feel as grand as yours at this point in time. Ooh. I feel like I need to step up my game and expand mine. Mine now wow looks like the short and fat one. <laughs> like, you're the tall and slim one. <laughs> mine is like a, mine is the short and fat one. But it looks like it yeah, looks, so, it's very globular. That's what I'll say. Yeah, it is. And you know what? I mean, I never realised how squashed. So it looks a tiny bit squashed because obviously we the if I wanted it to be a perfect sphere, it would have the this circle here also on the corners. But do you, do you remember I didn't me really saying, want to do that. Do you remember me saying when you built this that it looks a bit squashed? Yeah. And you and your yeah. response to me was, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, here's the thing, right? <laughs> so I from your base, from your base, it actually does look a little bit squashed. From any other angle, you've got like the it's like it's like you've got like the side on. Like if you look at someone's face from directly the side. They can be really attractive, but some people just have a weird side-on side-on look. Like See, the profile you're, you're saying that your base has a good side. <laughs> yeah, my, my base has got a good side. Like if you if you look at it from above, like if you fly out and maybe get some height on you, then it can look it looks pretty fancy because you can look down and see all of the all of the biomes up at the top. Yep, true. And then you can see all of the storage systems. But if and you everything. go sort of halfway and look at it side-on. Yeah, you can see that it it's has a little bit. It's a few blocks <laughs> short of being a, a, a being a football. That's that's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's a little bit of an egg. This is like my storage system area. Um, so this is this is what I've I've got fill well in the process of filling out. So these are my storage silos, which are going to be for all of the sand, gravel, cobblestone, stone, dirt, all that sort of thing. So all of these chests are gradually going to fill up throughout the season, and then wow. as that happens, all of the redstone lamps will turn on. And obviously, all of this is going to be automated. So this this area here 
Uh, I'm going to have a chest on top of that. I place items on the inside, and then those items get sent throughout the entire system. So they'll kind of run along that water stream there, and then they'll make their no. way down this branch. It goes, and then it go goes all here. the way round? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so mad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you gone? <laughs> I've in that gap. You're so lucky that there's not loads of mobs there, because I always get killed from those guys. Both of our they bases just are just total death traps. A little traps. bit deadly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, I think I do understand. So you just chuck items in, it, yeah. it puts it round until it finds the right hopper with the right amount of, like, yeah. like that in. Yeah, and then it will allow it to drop through. So and then it drops through. That, that's but what's, the thing. This, so what's the redstone for? Why not just have it drop through? Well, because here's the thing. So you have to make sure, the way that this, I, I will try my best to explain this. So, yeah, so that there is now stopped, right? So you can see that we have all the items in, and then we have 41 at the front. So and the, red, that, the redstone's to stop it. Yeah, so so essentially this redstone here, so you can see that it is powering out to two blocks. Yeah. And then when another item comes through, it will then extend that redstone signal out to three to, to three blocks. So that means that this redstone gets oh, powered, then yeah. this repeater gets powered, and this redstone torch unpowers, allowing that item to, to drop through, through that hopper okay. and then go through into the system. That makes a lot so, of, that actually makes sense. So explain this. You spent a long time making this glass dome underneath, and I, I was under the impression that this would become an aquarium of some kind. Yeah. Yeah, that... I mean, I'm still tempted to make the aquarium. I kind of want... I, I wouldn't mind getting your ideas on this, because do you think it should be an aquarium, or do you think it should literally just stay as, like, a gigantic sphere area or it could become like the new death games area where we have dog fights and things which would be quite interesting especially with these tridents as well hmm. in fact the tridents make things exciting because then you only have one shot so it's kind of like you fly around and why then why not both <laughs> you I can throw you tridents can... underwater <laughs> that's true oh that's such a genius idea this would actually be a lot of fun <laughs> like to, to goof around and just mess around with the hermits Especially if you okay, here's here's the idea. Here's here's the pitch. So what yep. if this is an aquarium? It's all underwater with some decorations and stuff. But we yeah, get yeah, yeah. we get depth strider on everyone's boots, plus we make some dolphin uh booster points. Thank you. We put right. <laughs> we put some dolphin booster points and you can swim really fast. So you have a trident war zone where everyone is swimming at the, faster than you can fly. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good move. And it doesn't cost a million fireworks. And yep. you doesn't don't cost take fireworks. damage. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Mm. I don't know how dark it would look, though. That's the other the, the other question. It would it look it might pretty look... dark, but I think with pickles, um, I have a pickles for sale if you need them. What? I hadn't realized you could farm them. Forget that. No, I'm farming them. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you can't farm them. That machine was just a, it was just a joke. Oh, yeah, it was just a show. <laughs> you see, it looks really lovely and bright at the moment. Like, really yeah. bright. And I think you could still get that with sea pickles. It may even look more majestic if it's, like, got yeah. that blue tinge. It's, th I'd say break a few of it on, like, one corner or one quarter. And just see. Just yeah, to do, see. like, one quarter. But this death, actually... like, death dome would look really cool, especially with, like, the dolphin booster and depth strider. It would be a really fun yeah. battle. I am really, like, this is crazy. It, it's actually really different how we've both tackled our bases so you've you've sort of built this around your redstone first and then yep. i sort of built something first and then tried to fit the redstone in so it's it's the same principle just reversed yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's, it's interesting and it's interesting to hear how we both have like no plan yeah and <laughs> how the similarities <laughs> exist in doing that because you're saying well i've built this and now i have to work around it and i'm i'm kind of in the same boat like i, I build something and i'm like Oh, I've done something a bit quirky there, so I'm gonna have to just deal with that somehow, and we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, and it's exactly the same as as you say with the sphere. What's going on here? This looks like a city. Am I right? Yeah. So, so the idea behind my base was that I would have the storage system in the middle. Yeah. Originally, when I started work on it, the plan was for it to be like a, a, a medium-sized storage system, and then things got out of hand, <laughs> which just happens. <laughs> things, you things know there's got a hole really here, right? Big. Yeah, I, I think a creeper blew up. Oh, uh, no. Oh, that must just be a spot missing. All right, I'll have to patch that up before... Thanks, Grian. Now all of all of our comments are going to be about that hole. Eagle eye. This point forth. Could I could spot a mistake a mile away. <laughs> 
You know, this is this is a problem because I've just realised while I was jumping around as well that there's a window missing from this build for some bizarre reason. So I'll point that one out before you point that one out. <laughs> um, but yeah, this 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 city is kind of going to be expanding out around the storage system, okay. uh, and it's going to consist of basically all the builds that I don't want to be in that gigantic structure. So. Any farm that I construct is going to be kind of out in this area, floating above the ocean. Um, for example, this is my super smelter. So inside here, you can see that we've got all of the drops that are coming in from my kelp farm. They essentially flow into these chests, which make their way up here. And then these furnaces smelt them, and then the dried kelp ends up in this storage system over here. Which you have and to then... manually craft. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way to automatically craft things in Minecraft just yet. So, yeah, you have to manually craft them. And then you dump all of that into that chest, and then it all fills into these furnaces. So I kind of have, like, a self-fueling furnace system. I'm going to need and... this. I'm going to need to use this, okay? <laughs> okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, go ahead. But, yeah, so the plan for this this area is basically all around the island, the, the city's going to expand out, and it's going to have different buildings of different shapes and sizes all kind of similar in the way that they're built like they're all kind of geometric -y and futuristic -y. Okay. but then all around the island we're going to have like this this expanding city that's going to sprawl out around it which is kind of the plan you need to come up with your vision of what you want and then i can help you realize it that would be amazing yeah that that would be that would be a cool one and that would be really, really cool because I've been sat here scratching my head so much that I'm, I'm going bald, basically. <laughs> that's, that's, been, that's been the experience of this Hermitcraft season so far, is me staring very blankly at things that I've built and being like, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but I did take down. I did take. I don't know if you saw my little weird, my strange little tower that I had going on with this build. That's now been removed. So it was a. I built this very odd looking tower, and it I was. I don't know if I saw it. I might have. I think you might that, have flown past. I think that you these could do with a bit more height on them to make it look more city like. Yeah, that's that's the one thing as well is that I was struggling with. I kind of want ver varied heights. So I might expand. I might add another module to this build on the right, and then there. I wanted to do something to this build and make it taller because the original build was much taller than this. But nothing I did really felt. It just didn't. It didn't feel that great. Well, maybe here's a, here's an idea for this one in particular. Imagine yep. here we have. Uh, imagine these are like kelp, and we do like tubes yep. of kelp like to the yep. height of it and then you sort of decorate the kelp so you can tell what the building is from a distance even if yep. these kelp don't actually do anything themselves yeah 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 okay that's not a bad idea just make it look a little bit more substantial as well there's also something else that's a really easy fix you're missing a contrast color that's yeah no you see i can't work it i can't work out what the contrast color it's, would be yeah hold on it's it's basically the same as mine we're working with the same palette here it's uh cyan yeah. cyan uh terracotta hold on let me well, let me see, go and grab some and i'll show you exactly how this can work yeah i think for example that, here you want something like this it sounds like our first architect jobs are actually going to be on our own builds like it's yeah like of course we need to we need to sort ourselves out before we show off to everyone else <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, that looks cool already. Something like that. I, I, I've only just built that on there, but you can see how it gives you a bit of contrast into it. Oh, for goodness sake! This is so frustrating. You, you have no, you have no idea how how many hours I spent <laughs> designing that structure. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come along and just sprinkle some dark grey stuff on there. It's like, oh yeah, no, it looks looks a million times better. The, the the key here is like there's an anchor point so you can see like this is now the middle of the base uh, of yeah. this building and then you can sort of appreciate everything around it whereas like yeah. at the moment because it's all white you don't really know where to put your eyes yeah oh yeah that looks so much better that looks so cool that looks wicked well i might have to i might have to employ your services to just do do uh, just the odd jobs in this little area here Yep. that will just 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 bring it together nothing too crazy i'm not i'm not asking you to spend hundreds of hours so doing like, anything so just like uh, this just trying to add in bits to just bring just it all sprinkling together it in. um i'm not asking you to i mean obviously if you feel like you need to take down the entire structure then just let me know and i'll, I'll pop by no. and we can we can tear it down together you nearly but... never need to do that in minecraft you can always make it work 
All right, well, that, that's good to hear. So just anything, any little details that you think you could add to the build that will, will improve them. And for example, like this one, feel free to expand it upwards um, and feel free to do anything uh, that you think is going to make it look a little bit better because it's one of those things I've, I've struggled with this for way too long and it's getting to the point now where I don't want to do any more episodes on it because I feel bad for the viewers who keep seeing me build <laughs> something. I, Be okay. happy with it. I'm your next neighbor it. and I'm feeling bad for you now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to touch it ever again. I want to come back onto my base and just be like, oh, look, this is done. Like, and it looks great. Moving on. <laughs> Obviously, while saying thank you to you. Okay, I think I can help you there. <laughs> Did I just hear death? That'd be amazing. I just heard death. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Have you seen how many kills... Zombie Cleo has of phantoms, by the way. Have you seen how many Cub has? How many does Cub have? Like 250? No, see, Zombie Cleo has 330. Oh! It's, 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 I was, it's insane. I was going to to try and compete. I got like 40 yeah. and I was like, I'm doing well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 on the first day, I got seven and I was like, this is great. I'm doing such a great job here. And then... <laughs> And then, and then I went to I went to Boston or Italy or whatever, and then I came back and people were in the hundreds, and I was like, well, yeah, okay. never mind. I oh, did you see is. that shot? That was a pretty good shot. I'll be totally honest. You, I mean, he was kind of stuck. No, he wasn't. So I'll it deduct was... three points. No, but <laughs> seven. I don't know if I've I don't know if I've got anything else to show you. I mean, we've got the slime farm. I've got I've, some I've, stuff Trust me, I've been in the inner workings of the slime farm. I was going to say, yeah, you, you were very familiar with the slime farm. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I, I don't have I don't have too much else to show you, really, other than just... Yeah, uh, I've, what, what I've, I've seriously seen. missed you from being around, because you've obviously been away for a while, and one of my favourite things to do is to just appear at your base, do something random and leave. I know, I've been <laughs> so sporadically, like, I've just been... You know, whenever whenever I speak to people, it's like, oh, what you got going on? It's like, oh, I'm going to Boston in tomorrow, and then come back, and it's like, oh, what you got going on now? So I'm leaving for Italy t in the next couple of days. It's just been it's been a manic a manic few months, but for now, at least as far as I can tell, I am not leaving England for the rest of the year. So your friendly neighbourhood egg target should be <laughs> back on the Poultry man strikes I again. <laughs> I did say that's like the worst superhero <laughs> ever. The superhero that no one asked for. <laughs> uh, I did actually leave you a present at the top of your egg if you didn't see it. Yeah, see, I saw this actually as I flew, I, as, I was, as I was jumping around my base this morning. Is this something that you want me to crack open? I'll be open. Like, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I didn't expect you to fall for it. Wait. Yeah. What? I expected it to explode. <laughs> no, you have to take out the bottom block or you have to shoot them. Do you want to do it at the same time? <laughs> no, not the bottom block. <laughs> <laughs> that was the They're like mercenaries. It's like watching like paratroopers dropping down on my face. <laughs> That Send was... him in, boys. <laughs> that was like a that was the most ridiculous <laughs> looking thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I, th I thought they would just explode out, but they... <laughs> no, yeah. Minecraft doesn't work like that anymore. It uh... used to, but then you have to cause them damage for them to suddenly pop. But what I hadn't expected, I wasn't expecting the bottom block. I wasn't expecting them to travel down like a care package of chicken. <laughs> that was the most ridiculous thing. Oh, my word. My stomach hurts from that one, man. <laughs> I feel sorry for headphone users because both of us were just screeching. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, they, they, oh, they've gone into the inner workings of your redstone. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're right there. They're never leaving. I'm yeah. <laughs> constantly going to be hearing. Like, when I think they're all gone... <laughs> I'm just going to hear the, the, the cluck and I'll be like, where is it? The last <laughs> chicken, it will never end. Oh my oh, goodness. Man. That, that actually worked out better than I thought. <laughs> that was like a chicken firework. I think, I think with the, the combined skills, we can actually make a really decent uh, area in this futuristic district. And at some point, I feel like we can create some sort of mechanism to combine the two maybe oh yeah 100 percent. and then this place would just become magnificent and then ren is going to be building a giant railway ser uh, service so like we could add a station in here oh i could just yeah the future is bright for the futuristic district <laughs> yeah i'm i'm super excited for it having these two bases connected up and having things going on between them especially if we kind of have like a, a fairly uniform color palette like yeah. what you've been experimenting with 
will really make things pop. And you know what? Now that I'm actually looking at this, <laughs> I'm very tempted to take out all of the ice that I have going around here and change it out with the dark clay. It might work. <laughs> yeah, that might work. I, I think that might look better because I was looking at that today. Well, you're making me want to replace my power beam. This is the problem. <laughs> but, but I'm not <laughs> going to do that for the time being because that took way too long. <laughs> but, but no, I think the, the blocks around the outside could actually do with some of that. So we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. But anyway, thank you ever so much for popping by, man. Yep. And thank you for showing me around and everything. Oh, it's, it's cool. So I'll see you, I guess, when we start working on the projects and stuff. Yeah, the super secret, super, super secret. Shh, no, they don't know about it. Yeah, I don't. I didn't even know what to call it. Like the super secret, mm. secret thing. Yeah, we need a, we need a name. <laughs> we need a name. Like code name. Yeah, I, I, I'll, um, I'll take suggestions on the secret name, even though you don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, commenters, please let us know down in the comment section what you think we should call the super secret project that you have no idea about. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Speak to you later. Speak to you later. I've already actually started doing a little bit to Mumbo's base based on what we just did. We actually had a really productive meeting and we came up with loads of plans. I actually gave him a tour of my base which will be on his episode of Hermitcraft and it should be released about the same time so if you want to go and see it go to his channel and check it out. As you can see I've added some cyan terracotta here and it has actually changed his base. It's neither for the better or for the worse but it has changed it somewhat so I'd like to see what he has to say about it. I've left him a little sign saying that I've like done a little taster and I want to get his opinion on it. So this is here. Did a sample with Cyan Terra on the quarter of a sphere. Let me know what you think, G. So we will find out exactly how that's going to go later on. I don't want to do too much work in case he doesn't like it, but this is a pretty good place to start, I feel. So that's it for today's episode of Hermitcraft. It was a little bit different today, not what we're used to perhaps, but for now, I think I'm going to start on my secret project. I'll see you guys in the next episode.